what is going on guys welcome back to my channel my name is Cisco and in today's video we're gonna compare two very powerful AI tools that I'm pretty sure you've heard of now I'm talking about perplexity versus chat GPT now even though these are great tools in their own way um, they do shine in different areas so in this video I'm gonna break down their strengths I'm also gonna give you some examples to see which of these AI tools is the best one for you to use. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So let's start with a quick overview. Now, ChatGPT was developed by OpenAI, and it's an AI language model that's perfect for, let's say, like conversational tasks, creative writing, uh, brainstorming ideas, uh, even storytelling, and also creating images. Now, on the other hand, we have perplexity. Now, perplexity is like an AI powered, um, I wanna say search assistant, right? It uses the power of large language models with integrated search capabilities. And so that makes it perfect for finding accurate real-time information. So let's say you wanna find like up-to-date information or maybe you wanna find like the links, the yeah, the, the links to the sources of this information, then perplexity would be the tool that you want to use for that. So how do these tools work? So ChatGPT is all about understanding your prompts and delivering a detailed human-like response. So I'm going to put in a prompt in here. I'm going to put in uh, create, oh no, write, let's say write a creative story about a dragon that becomes friends with a blind boy. Let's say blind boy. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and click on enter here. And now let's see what the story that comes up with. Now, I'm not gonna read that um, here because obviously that would take a lot of time, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and copy this same story and I'm gonna go to perplexity, type that in here. Okay, click enter here. And I'll be right back, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and read each one of the stories and let you know what I think. All right, so what are my thoughts about each story? Well. In simple words, I would I would say that um, I like ChatGPT story better, um, just because I kind of I was able to get more into the story. Now the funny thing is that both uh, both of the stories, the one that ChatGPT created and the one that Perplexity created, both gave my dragon the same name, Saphir. Okay, so as you can see, they also named the dragon here Saphir. Okay. Um, in this story, they named the boy Ilian. So my, uh, so it, the story goes: um, write a creative story about a dragon that becomes friends with a blind boy. Okay, they named him Ilian. Here in ChatGPT, they didn't give him a name. That doesn't matter. But I can get it more into the story of ChatGPT. Um, I really don't like like the titles that they put here in the story. Uh, prologue, a world of shadows, the first encounter, an unlikely friendship, a challenge arises. I don't really, I, I don't know, that kind of breaks up the story for me and and doesn't just let me, you know, flow through it. So I would definitely say that ChatGPT is like more human-like. I could definitely get more into this story than the one that Perplexity gave me. All right, now another thing is that um, down below, like you can see here, it says related. So you can actually click on this plus button and it's going to give you like more related information. So how does the dragon first meet the blind boy? And then it gives you here like the short story, I guess. And then it gives you some sources, right? So here's a YouTube source, a Reddit, and so on and so forth. So that's pretty cool. I mean, they kind of show you where they get that from. Chat GPT, you don't get any of that. You just simply get a story and that's it. But overall, I gotta say, I go with the Chat GPT story. Now, on the other hand, because perplexity is more like a, like a real-time search engine with AI intelligence, I'm gonna input this prompt and show you what I mean. So the prompt is gonna be, uh, Provide me with the current price of Bitcoin 
in US dollars. All right, let's see what it's going to give me. Cool. So it gives me the price with the sources that it gets it from. And it also gives me a pretty cool graph, right? Like this is actually like live in real time, right? Because I'm going to go ahead and actually, yeah, let me go ahead and do the same with chat GPT and let's see what it comes back with. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and boom. All right, let's see what it comes back with. So as you can see, the price that I get here is $60,563. That is the current price of a Bitcoin. And it's, see, actually, you see that? It actually changed. It's fluctuating, right? It's changing. So now I can see here that I'm not sure. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and actually search that in Google and see if. Yep. Yeah. So, boom. As you can see right now, the price of one Bitcoin is actually $60,455.80. Okay, so that's pretty close to what Perplexity gave us. Okay, now Perplexity says it's $60,559. See that? It just changed again. And ChatGPT is giving us this number, 54,461,000, which that's kind of off, right? Now, it does gives us uh, the link sources here. So Coinbase, I'm going to go to Coinbase, see what it says. Okay, so this one actually gives it to me in Colombian pesos. pesos. So let me see Kraken, see what it gives us. All right. So as you can see right here, Kraken has it in U.S. dollars and it's sixty thousand six hundred and nine dollars. OK, so that's pretty close to what perplexity is giving us. OK, and it's kind of off the uh, the price that uh, chat GPT gave us. OK, even though they say they are getting their information, they're providing the, the, the source links right here. OK, same thing for perplexity. Perplexity is actually giving us the source. So let's see in Coinbase. So Coinbase now this time is giving it in U.S. dollars. And as you can see, sixty thousand five hundred and sixty nine dollars and seven cents. So that's pretty accurate or it's very close to what the real price um, or actually what the price currently is for Bitcoin. Right. As you can see right there now. Another example I wanted to give you because um, one of the uh, one of the one of the things I, I use ChatGPT for is to create my images or some of my images, not all of them. But for instance, um, I've mentioned that I do have a secondary channel and some of the thumbnails that I create, I ask ChatGPT to create the image for my thumbnail. Now, with perplexity. Um, you have to have the paid plan to create the images. OK, so for example, as you can see right here, it says generate image, but only available in the pro version. OK, so if you pay the 20 bucks a month, then you're able to generate images uh, with chat GPT. You can generate images without having to pay for them, at least as at the current um, recording of this video, you can do it for free. So I'm going to show you real quick. So um, I'm going to say um, create an image. Um, let's say create a, a realistic image of a woman riding a scooter. OK, click enter and let's see what it comes back with. But look, I mean, it's generating the image right then and there. Right. I don't have to pay anything for that image. Let's see what it comes back with. See that? I mean, not exactly what I wanted because I wanted realistic. Maybe I need to work on my prompts a little bit. But boom, I have an image right there that is of a, a girl or a woman riding a scooter. OK, as you can see, here's the image of a woman riding a scooter in a vibrant city. I never said anything about a vibrant city. Let me know if you need any adjustments or another scene. But boom, there you have it right there. That's perfect for what um, I need chat GPT right now. If you want to create images, then definitely chat GPT has your back for that. 
All right, so let's break down which tool is better. So if you're looking for like um, creative writing, if you're looking for maybe storytelling or um, just brainstorming ideas, or like I just showed you, if you want to generate images using the free version um, of ChatGPT, then definitely ChatGPT takes the cake on that. But if you're looking for like quick um, fact-based answers or like real-time information, then definitely I got to say perplexity takes the cake for that one. The thing is that with perplexity, you get accurate information or more accurate information. Plus, the one thing that I really like more is that you actually get the links uh, to the sources of that information, which definitely that's that's a huge point right there for perplexity. All right, so there you have it, guys. So ChatGPT is more like the go-to tool for like creative writing, brainstorming ideas, maybe generating images, while perplexity is more for like uh, quick facts, uh, up-to-date information, you know, those type of things. I mean, you might just want to, you know, switch back and forth between these tools uh, depending on what you need, right? So, yeah, guys definitely leave me a comment down below letting me know what tool you prefer what tool you use most i would love to read your comments also if you got some value if you found this video helpful make sure you smash the like button subscribe to the channel and click on that notification bell icon that way you get notified when i drop new videos with that said guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye for now